when I was first learning language from an instructor, I was familiar with the language already, and I couldn't get over this. We sent in. He's trying to tell me that this means he or she, he, it means uh, he or she is eating, and it's, and it's, a, com it's a command. We sent in is a command to a single person. You, Tim, eat. We send in, Tim. It's a command. And that's the only word I ever heard. I never heard we send ne. I never heard we send ne wag. I've never heard ni we we send. All these prefixes. I said, no, the word is we send in. And I'd argue with him. He says, nope, the root word is we send ne. Finally, I looked it up in the dictionary. And sure enough, there it was, we send in. It's a, so, so what that is, <coughs> single letter N makes it singular command. We send in. It's a command. I am telling you, we send in. Neba is the word for sleep. My ma always would tell me, Neban. But there's more than one of us. What she would say was, if there's only one person, Nibban. But typically she would say Nibag. That's plural command. That'll be consistent every time. Nine o'clock in the morning, midnight, every time. Nibag is plural command. Kids like that. The um, language students, they really like little things that way. Over here, singular command. And so when we talk about consistencies, this will uh, always be very consistent. You want to tell somebody, go to bed, gaweshimo, as he or she is going to bed. Put an N on there, gaweshimon. Uh, nebag, gushkozen, it was a word I heard frequently. Get up. Get up, get out of bed, get up, gush goes in. Rarely did they have to command me, we send in. I could figure that out on my own. And, and, so, and so when they put that all together like that way, <coughs> um, it's just consistent all the time. 